to another episode of Comic Book Man, the only show that's smart enough not to drink Granny's Peach Tea. I'm Kevin Smith. Brian Johnson. Walt Flanagan. Mike Zapsick. Ming Chen. Okay, ma'am, regale me with stories of high adventure in the world of comic book retail. Somebody brought in a toy from one of my absolute favorite 80s movies, and a movie that's been uh, making kind of a comeback. <laughs> Hey, how are you today? Fine, how are you? Pretty good. I have right here the 1986 Real Ghostbusters Firehouse. Oof. The real Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. As opposed to the fake Ghostbusters? Well, there was another Ghostbusters that we won't talk about that had an ape. It might have been the first, but it wasn't the best. Wait, it came before <laughs> this? Yeah, yeah it, was before, it was first. Well, this is not the real Ghostbusters, uh. then. <laughs> so why are you selling it today? Thanks to the internet, I was able to buy this in 96, and I came across two, so I'm looking to sell one just to maybe buy some new Ghostbuster toys that's out. Can we take it out of the box? Of course. How does this come out? The most important thing is the ectoplasma. Sealed. Sealed? I it's never been sealed. opened. Never it, been is open. it red? I always thought the, the well, ectoplasma the, was this green. was the extra one that only came with the firehouse. He still hadn't opened it? Still hadn't opened it. And it fetches a far greater value if you have a sealed can of the original slime. Really? Yeah. How many people are like, I'm looking for this, and I'm looking for it complete? <laughs> How many people are looking for it now? I mean, well, with the new incarnation of Ghostbusters, there's a gigantic renewed interest in Ghostbuster merchandise, especially the, the original stuff. Is this complete? This is complete, 100%. 100%. Oh, this seems very involved. Easy assembly. <laughs> Are you a fan of the movie, the original movie? I'm a huge fan. It's tough. I can't even tell you how many times I've watched it. <laughs> I am not having a good time with this. All right, there we go. I feel like the, the firehouse in the movie probably took less time to build. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, who we got in the back? Can I look in the back? Oh, of course. All right. Oh, we all know this guy. Ernie. What, what was his name in the movie? Winston Zedmore. You know, I don't like to brag, but uh, Ernie Hudson and I, were we ran uh, an ice cream slash comic book truck. Really? Have you ever sold comics before? Well, I mean, you are a natural. I never sold comics before. I never thought I'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, it was only for one day, but still. <laughs> so, I'm interested. Okay. Now, are you only buying it because you don't want him to disassemble it? <laughs> the sealed ectoplasm, I really want it because of this. A lot of people, they didn't keep it sealed. So, what do you need for it today? Well, I'm going to ask for the entire set for 700. 700? 700? Uh, yeah, come on, Gene. I would say, well, uh, this probably worth, what, $125 sealed in this condition? Maybe if you can find it, but yeah. And I mean, this, it's in the box. It's in good shape. I see you have a, you have a broken clip here, though. Yeah. He, not... I think he just did it just now. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably get around $200 for this, and then the figures, maybe $100. So what's that total? About four, about 400 bucks? Retail, 400 yeah. retail. Yeah, seven's a little high. Okay, how about five? My counteroffer is more than you will make on it. Um, two fifty. Two thirty-five. I can't go any higher than that. Two thirty-five. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's. I love it, and I'm gonna hold on to it. You're gonna hold on to it. Yeah. Well, you can't disassemble it here. Take it outside. <laughs> 